Welcome to the Sonya Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Great day, everyone. It is time for the Sonya Buchanan Show, where we inspire one life, one smile at a time. Uh, It's going to be a really fun show today. I wanted it to be fun. Uh, But first, let me give you the title, and it's going to be called, It's Good to Be Happy. Uh, The reason why I wanted to name the show today, It's Good to Be Happy, is because there are so many things that has kind of stumbled my tracks. And, And yesterday I was experiencing an interesting... Uh, an interesting thing because I got up and I rushed out the door to go walking early in the morning, which is a delightful thing for me to do every single day. And it was storming. And, uh, and so I decided to come back in and I decided to have a moment. You know how you have that moment where you, you're, you're speaking to, uh, the God. It was more like a conversation that I was having with the Lord, and I so enjoyed the time that we were having. It was really interesting because it wasn't the typical prayer where you bow your knees and you get serious and you're and you're just praying into the atmosphere. No, sometimes I have a moment where I'm. It's still praying, but I'm having a conversation with God about so many different things, scenarios that's going on in my life, and and we laugh about some think some things that I do that's kind of kind of crazy, like and uh, and I was having a moment, and I was going through the Word of God, and and just laughing and just having such a great fellowship. And, um, and it, you, I just have those moments and those moments sometimes when you're just happy and you start talking to the God you serve because you give honor to the Lord, who is the, the person who gives you the breath of life every morning to wake up. And so I was having a delightful moment. I'm laughing and we're fellowshipping in the presence of the Lord was evident it was here and and I know he's probably was laughing with me and and I was getting this knowledge base from him that's how I know that his presence was there because most often when when you're talking to the Lord or you're praying and you're worshiping his presence will greet you where you are and you have in fellowship so I was just having a just a grand day and as my day proceeded to go on I'm still having this most joyful day. I love it when I wake up in the morning and I do that. It's it's a different kind of prayer. It may not be the kind of prayer that most people who are serious all the time with God, you know. And, you know, just for the record, God God is a jokester too. He likes to laugh. He likes to joke around because if that was not the case, we would not have comedians who are simply hilarious. So we know that he has a sense of humor because we have comedians that has a sense of humor. So I don't want you to always think, oh, God is so serious all the time. Well, you're not serious all the time. And you can have delightful conversations with him and you can laugh and you can just talk about certain things, you know, and which is something that I'm not even giving you and it's new to you. You're probably already doing that anyway. But I was having such a wonderful time with God yesterday, uh, early in the morning. And and honestly, I'm quite glad it was raining because I would have never experienced that moment. And as I continued my day laughing and just smiling and just enjoying him, enjoying his company, because I did not want it to stop. So I continued uh, that fellowship. And I was sitting there uh, listening uh, to, uh, I was listening to someone teaching uh, a reading a book. It was a book, really. And I'm just thinking about the essence of everything of what the person's talking about. I'm just having just a great moment. And then I get this knock on my door, just sporadically, a knock on my door. <laughs> when they talk about grace, when we talk about the grace of God, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever experienced it, but I experienced such a r- remarkable 
time with him with a relationship. And I want you all to really think about uh, developing your relationship, a stronger relationship with him. Because yesterday I experienced something and I was left giggling. He sent a blessing to my door. And that particular day, I wasn't even thinking about it. I have thought about what I was needing. And he has done this on so many occasions, send people to my door. And I get this knock on his door and this, and there's this person uh, asking me this question just out of the blue. And immediately it's been taken care of. I, I was just so blown away. All because that morning I got up and just having this wonderful time and this wonderful moment and this wonderful uh, fellowship of joy and laughter. And the name of our podcast today, It's Good to Be Happy. And and that was that was a moment. And when I'm having this knock on my door and there's this guy standing here talking to me about some of the things that I, I was needing, and here he is. And this is this is the kicker. Now I just met this guy. And this is how I know it was God. This is how I know it was the the father's love and his grace for me. And I and I you know, I don't want to tell you what I was needing. I just wanted to just tell you. This is I know. And so the guy said to me, he says, "Okay, I'm going to take care of it." He says, "Uh I I get you the receipt and you can pay me um, you can pay me afterwards. I'm just going to go on and just get it and, and do what I need to do. And then you pay. This guy is trusting me. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting looking like this does not happen. You know, you meet someone just bam. And then he says, I'm going to just buy everything and do everything and blah, blah, blah. And you can just pay me afterwards. That does not happen. And, and I said, okay, <laughs> you know, and I'm thinking, wow, this is, this is really crazy. All because of my prayer time and my fellowship time with God that morning. And you guys, I'm just sitting there just giddy and laughing. And that, and when that happened, I went back into the house and I literally was in a, another happy moment. I couldn't stop smiling. I could not stop smiling. In fact, I went to bed with this this grin, this goofy grin on my face of how I loved the Father in a capacity that it cannot be described in English language. It was indescribable. And it was something that I was about to make a uh, I was about to make a, a a large purchase on something I didn't really need to make a large purchase because I could not figure out how to solve it. So I figured, well, let me just just take care of it and just do that. No, he didn't want me to do that. He sent somebody to my door. And as I stated earlier, I wasn't even thinking about it at that time. I wasn't thinking about it yesterday. But he was thinking about it. He knew what I needed. He knew exactly <laughs> And uh, I wanted, I don't want this podcast to be long. I just want to bring a little joy today because there's a war that's going on in uh, other parts of this globe. <laughs> and there are, there are so much stuff that's going on. We are so distracted in the news. We're distracted on online news because all I see now is the war and celebrities. The celebrities bombarding the news with all of their stuff. I don't know if this is something that is supposed to be happening, but I'm thinking, where's the other parts of the news? Because this, this is all I see is celebrities talking about their personal life. And I'm thinking, why are you guys talking? To, why are you telling us about your personal life? Uh, to me, all of it is a distraction. Is there any other news that we have? <laughs> so I just stop. I actually just stopped listening to it all overall and uh and just fellowship with God because I figured fellowshipping with the Father is more success than me watching or watching television and someone's talking about their life and their personal life, which has nothing to do with me uh but 
all of a sudden they're supposed to have something to do with me because it's it's bombarding the the news and the articles and the online uh, news reports and I'm thinking your life has nothing to do with me. Entertain me. That's what that's what you that's what we pay you for to entertain. That's why we go to your concert to entertain us. And I guess this is part of entertaining. I don't know. But nevertheless, I want to talk to you all if you're going through a, a series of things. is to sit down and have a really great, happy fellowship with God in prayer. And, and just enjoy him. And then just talk about some of the things, these crazy things that you do with him. And just laugh about them. Um, and watch the results because... He wants you to fellowship with him and he wants you to come to him and talk about anything and everything. And, um, and so this is what I wanted to talk about. It's good to be happy. And, uh, and I'm telling you, it's good to be happy because it's very prosperous. God is a happy God. He's a loving God. He's a God who, who loves to have interactions with you. And, uh, and he's a blesser. And I know he's a blesser because he definitely blessed my socks off on on Wednesday. Out of the blue, I was not expecting it. I wasn't seeking for it. He just blessed me. It was something that I did need and I desperately needed. It was coming to a place where I'm going to really, really need it. And he just took care of it. And I don't even have to worry about that scenario anymore because God blessed me on Wednesday. Um, but listen, you guys, it's good to be happy and I know that you are, but I just wanted to come and remind you of that as our title for today It's good to be happy. Listen, you all, this is the end of our podcast today. And I want to emphasize with you, uh, with so many different avenues on our website Again, like I stated, our Comfort and Promises website has a lot of different areas where it will bless you, uh, especially if you're going through moments of sadness and needing friends there's, uh, or needing help on your, your anxieties or, or any of that. We do have a Lifeline tab where you can look and see there are phone numbers where people will pray for you. There's a friendship line if you got elderly people who are needing friends. There's a friendship line there for the elderly. You can develop a friendship with the people who are who you're calling, and they will talk with you and get to know you. Um, and we also have our e-store and our bookstore. All these wonderful things is on there. You know, send people to our websites and listen to some of the podcasts, so they will be in. They will be enlightened. They will bring them out of a depression and give them a uh, different mindset of a leadership mindset because uh, Confident Promises broadcast and the Sonia Buchanan show is about uh, bringing out that leadership, that that leadership skill that you have because every one of us, 7.8 billion people in the world, we are all leaders. God created us to be leaders in our own field. So although people think, well, I'm not a leader, but you are, you are a leader. God created every one of us to be a leader. And uh, our podcast is basically is building leaders to become efficient leaders and confident leaders, uh, leaders that will give you a different outlook and different view of thinking in your place in this world to be effective leaders. Okay. So you are a leader, um, but sometimes we need more education and more knowledge and more wisdom to be effective leaders. So, you know, you can send people to our website, uh, click on the podcast and read up some of the things. Or I have, I have over 600 videos on my YouTube channel. Believe it or not, I had different categories where years and years, I started in, in uh, 2011, when I opened up Conference of Promises uh, to the public, but I've been doing Conference of Promises since 2001. But there are many videos that you can go through uh, and watch. And um, but I wanted to just talk to you about that. And go ahead, and we go ahead and have a happy day.
<laughs> as our title says, it's good to be happy. Well, right now, it's a, it's a good time to do that. It's good to be happy. Listen, you guys, go and do what you call to do. Um, do your purpose. Click on our website to see if you see any videos that will help you um, start that or try to figure out who you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing. And uh, But this is your girl, the Sonya Buchanan with the Sonya Buchanan Show. Until next week, you guys. Bye. Hey, everyone. Have you ever had a day that you planned to accomplish a gazillion of things, but distractions interrupted your commitment and you achieved nothing? There's a perfect solution to the madness. Try journaling on your busiest days. We offer six amazing cool designs of journal entry journals starting at $5.99. These journals are designed to improve your goal productivity. So what are you waiting for? Order now at comfortingpromises.com. Click on the e-store tab. Your day will be happier you did. Thank you for joining our podcast today. The podcast was produced and edited by Son Buchanan. For more information about the host, you can go to sonbuchanan.com. For information about Comfort and Promises broadcast community, you can go to comfortandpromises.com. Thank you for listening to our broadcast, The Sonya Buchanan Show, where we focus on one life, one smile at a time. Until next time, bye you guys.